Se dio a conocer una serie de audios de los atentados del 11 de septiembre ocurridos en Nueva York y Washington. Las grabaciones son un compilado que pertenece a la Administración Federal de Aviación, al Comando Aeroespacial de América del Norte y a la Aerolínea American Airlines. Los audios estaban destinados originalmente a ser parte de un informe. En este primer audio se escucha como una de las azafatas del vuelo de American Airlines de Los Ángeles llama del teléfono del avión para avisar que algunos pasajeros han sido apuñalados. Number three in the back, um, the cockpit's not answering. Somebody's stabbed in business class. And um, I think there's mates that we can't breathe. I, I don't know. I think we're getting hijacked. Which flight are you on? Flight 12. 12. And what seat are you in? Ma'am, are you there? Yes. What, what, what seat are you in? Ma'am, what seat are you in? We're a, we just left Boston. We're up in the air. I know. We're supposed to go to L.A. and the cockpit's not answering their phone. We're okay, but what seat point. are you sitting in? What's the number of your seat? Okay, I'm in my jump seat right now. Okay. At 3R. Okay, you're the flight attendant? I'm sorry, did you say you're the flight attendant? Hello? Yes, yes. hello? What is, what is your Hi. name? Hi, you, you're going to have to speak up. I can't hear you. Sure, what is your name? Okay, my name is Betty Ong. I'm number 3 on flight 11. Okay. And the cockpit is not answering their phone, and there's somebody staffed in business class, and there's, we can't breathe in business class. Somebody's got mace or something. Can you describe the person that you said someone is what in business class? Um, I'm, I'm sitting in the back. Somebody's coming back from business. If you can hold on for one second, they're coming back. Does anyone know who's being staffed? I don't know, but Karen and Bobby got staffed. Okay. Our, our number one is got staffed. Uh, our purser is stabbed. Um, nobody knows who's stabbed who, and we, we can't even get up to business class right now because nobody can breathe. Hello? Yeah, I'm taking it down all the information. We're also, um, you know, of course, recording this. Una segunda grabación registra que un controlador de la Administración Federal de Boston escuchó a un secuestrador del vuelo de American Airlines. Is that American 11 trying to call? Buddy. We have some planes, just stay quiet and you'll be okay. We are turning to the airport. 15 Southwest, Bono going to Hampton, climbing high. And uh, who's trying to call me here? American 11, are you trying to call? Nobody move. Everything will be okay. If you try to make any move, you'll danger yourself and the airplane. Just stay quiet. Posteriormente hay un audio proveniente de la torre de control del aeropuerto. Corresponde al instante en el que el segundo avión se estrella contra el World Trade Center. En la siguiente cinta quedaron registrados los gritos de la tripulación del vuelo 93. Es el momento en que pierden contacto con la torre de control. United 93, that traffic three is one o'clock, 12 miles eastbound, 370. Negative contact, we're looking, United 93. Somebody call Cleveland. Roger, American 1060, with you, we're 370, we're uh, slowing uh, due to the delays possible, going, going eastbound. That's American 1060. You got United 93? United 93. Stop the shot now. Yeah. It's descended. What's that? I just say it looked like he descended there. I don't there. think so. United 93, verify 350. United 93, Cleveland. Go ahead, Frank. Do you have United 93 south the shark? We hear some funny noises. We're trying to get him. Do you have him? No. Thank you. United 93, Cleveland. United 1523, did you hear your company, uh, did you hear uh, some interference on the frequency here uh, a couple of minutes ago, screaming? Yes, I did, 797, and uh, I, we couldn't tell what it was either. Okay. En este testigo, el secuestrador del vuelo 93 habla de que tienen una bomba a bordo. What is going on here? I got the pitch down, keep remaining sitting, we have a bomb aboard. So, it's there. Once minutos después se confirmó que el vuelo 93 cayó en las inmediaciones de Camp David. United 93, have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down. Okay. 
He's down? Yes. When did he land? Because we he, have confirmation. He, he, did, he did not land. Oh, he's down? Yes, yeah, somewhere up northeast of Camp David. Northeast of Camp David. That's the, that's the last report. They don't know exactly where. Finalmente se tiene registro de cómo pilotos de combate de la Fuerza Aérea de Estados Unidos son autorizados para derribar todos los vuelos que no respondan a las alertas de la torre de control. La instrucción la dio el vicepresidente Dick Cheney. You need to read this. Region Commander has declared that we can shoot down tracks that do not respond to our... Uh, our okay. I'll pass out the weapon. Okay. The region, com the region Commander has declared that we can shoot down aircraft that do not respond to our direction. Copy that. Copy that, sir. El Universal.